story that's different in the sense the top of the mind kind of uh, Indian branch to you. Hello. Today <clears throat> we are going to talk about uh, we are going to uh, do a story that's different in the sense that uh, many people uh, have requested me to introduce the top of the mind kind of uh, Indian branch to you. Now the problem of doing such a story is that uh, you know I, I, I speak from my heart and uh, there's always this possibility that I will uh, skip one of uh, one or more brands and this is in no way going to be a comprehensive kind of a list, the ultimate go-to list kind of a thing. So I apologize in advance because this may be a problem and I'm, I'm sure this is going to be a problem though I hope uh, it is not. So, uh, so what I'm going to do essentially is to introduce some of the brands as they come to my mind and uh, take you through them to tell you generally what they do because it's not very easy to, uh, uh, to do a story like this because there are n numbers of brands and uh, if you and I, I can talk miles about each one of them so uh, we have to keep the time constraints in mind so I will not be talking a lot of things I'll be just uh, you know touching or uh, just uh, placing the brands to you in a platter and uh, then we can of course and uh, uh, since I've already written about most of these brands in my uh, uh, in my blog the inkhappiness.com uh, you will uh, you can always refer back and uh, some of the stories have already been done in the YouTube channel here and the rest I will certainly I, 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 I hope to be doing so um, that's about it the number one brand that we are going to talk about today is of course AP limited editions. Now the person behind this brand is Mr. Anuj Poddar who is a Calcutta boy I mean which makes us twice as excited and uh, proud and everything because AP limited editions is a brand that is uh, aimed right at the top end of the uh, top end of the market and globally it's one of the most celebrated uh, fountain pen brands now uh, mr puddar though we say he's from calcutta actually uh, you know uh, travels between uh, his homes in the united states and in the singapore and uh, his pens are mostly made either in Japan or uh, in Russia uh, he AP limited editions incidentally is the only uh, fountain pen only Indian fountain pen brand that is in the fountain pen of the year category that uh, features um, that has featured multiple times and has also won the fountain pen year of the uh, the fountain pen of the year category. Uh, uh, coveted award called the fountain pen of the year. Number two, we are going to talk about ASA, ASA pens, which the person behind ASA is of course Subramaniam, aka Subbu Anna, aka Anna. Though he is from Calcutta, he is Chennai based, and uh, ASA has a pioneering status in hand turn three in one pens with a imported nib and converter system he pioneered uh, this category he was one of the early movers and uh, his contribution to the art of fountain pen making to the world of fountain pen making to indian fountain pens is uh, immense Number three, of course, we'll have to talk about Ayush paper, 
which and the person behind the brand is Ayush Surana. He makes fountain pen friendly stationery. Different kinds of stationery uh, products are there and they are generally very good. We next come to Bina. The person behind Bina or, and V-Sign of course because they have got two brands. Now the person behind Bina and V-Sign is Mr. Hiro Motwani. Uh, now his son is also coming into the business but we will focus on Mr. Hiro Motwani. Bina is a bulk manufacturer of molded pens. They make excellent quality pens which are offered at very reasonable price points. He is also a major original equipment manufacturer and supplier to many, many brands including global brands. We next come to Brill Inks which is which has Mr. Jairam Rajaram as the key person behind it. Now this is also a, <clears throat> a legacy brand in the sense this is and also an old brand. They are Tamil Nadu based and uh, they are an ink producer though slowly they are going into a uh, lot of related areas. Now next in line would be Camlin which is uh, owned by the Dundekers, they are Mumbai based. Once as we all know, especially when we were kids, Camlin was a market dominating brand. Though now, I don't know how much it is right uh, to say, but uh, the brand is waning. Uh, next comes Click. Uh, the person behind the brand is Harsh Gagwani as we all know is the third generation in the business. They are indoor based. They are perhaps the biggest player in its class. Click is perhaps the biggest player in its class in India. And what is exciting about them is that they are upscaling both in quality and in value terms. Click is also a major OEM and uh, they say uh, millions miles and counting which is they've already sold a million pens I mean another way of saying that so the click is also huge and uh, the ent as entry point pens the click aristocrat has virtually no uh, competitors anywhere next in line would be constellations 88 or wazir pens now this is a husband wife uh, team of Vishal and Nisa Singhi. They make good pens, handcrafted pens, though small uh, in small batches. They are Mumbai based and uh, the reason even if you were to forget constellations and Wazir, uh, why they can come into any list of Indian fountain pen manufacturers is that they where the couple behind the India Pen Show, they uh, and uh, which actually got the ball rolling, if I can put it in that way, and uh, they are planning new shows. I mean, they are always uh, in the move. Very dynamic young couple, and God bless them. Next in line is Dayton. They are bulk ink producers from Middle India. Then you have Deccan. Now Deccan is also a legacy brand. They are South India based and uh, they make pens the way the Puritans think pens should be made. And uh, if there is one, uh, if I were to put things legally, then I must say that the Deccan advocate is the best lawyer. Now we come to Divaria, which is the person behind this brand is of course Dia Vadodaria, who is backed by her father. Now Dia is a Mumbai based lady entrepreneur who is always stretching the horizons with innovative ideas. Now Dia is one lady who is always doing something, who is always hammering at it 
she's always doing new things she's doing good things and uh, she is the kind of uh, you know young blood that's coming into the fountain pen manufacturing um, scene here in india and uh, i hope she goes far the next we have to talk about phosphor pens now the man behind phosphor of course is manoj deshmukh uh, he is perhaps the only boutique you know pen maker in india his creations defy explanation they are so good like uh, you see a phosphor pen and your uh, jaws will drop they are so good there's a, as a matter of fact uh, i won't say much about it but uh, it's a it's it is a fact that there is a huge huge waiting period for uh, you know getting a phosphor pen if you just can't walk into a shop and buy a phosphor pen however rich you may be uh, there is a waiting period and it's all managed very scientifically and uh, the pens are extremely good of course uh we then come to gamma now uh, gamma the man behind gamma of course is mr pratap kumar uh of chennai who's an institution like gamma is an institution which is vouched for by successive chief ministers of tamil nadu <laughs> so like you that explains how good the pens are or how how exacting or how uh, exciting the pen manship of mr pratap kumar is now gamma pens are perhaps the last of the two true original uh, fountain pens and uh, they are good man like they are too good next in line is i believe guider Now, Guider is also from South India. They also make beautiful ebonite pens and acrylic pens, and uh, they make pens the old-fashioned way, the way probably my father or me would uh, like our pens to be. We next we next come to another lady entrepreneur. This is Kagzi, and the person behind the brand is kavya agarwal now kavya is an artist turned entrepreneur who is into niche uh, stationary items her uh, products are good and uh, kagzi is also doing a great job and you know this is like the uh, kagzi these are all uh, fresh blood that's coming into the system and uh, we hope that they do well they continue to do well because uh, they are looking at things from a different perspective now next on line of course is can write can write the person behind is mr sandeep awasti their kanpur based they are india's most celebrated a uh, fountain pen and nib maker they are carving out a niche as an exporter of quality nibs they also make fountain pens uh, they also make some fountain pens but uh, uh, canrite is known for their nibs and the nibs are too good of course i mean uh, it it doesn't need i mean canrite doesn't need my kind of telling the world how good they are Uh, they have already established a name for themselves the next in line would be krishna inks now krishna inks is a brand that is backed by a doctor called dr sri kumar nithu he makes a variety of exciting inks with uh, its own brand of dedicated followers old band of dedicated followers people who swear by krishna inks or by dr nitu 
The good doctor also makes exclusive hand turned pens, which not many of you know. Uh, and for these pens too, there is a huge line because, uh, you know, he doesn't make the pens as often as he makes his inks. And uh, Dr. Nithu incidentally learned his, uh, you, you know, his craft from SCR, from the legendary SCR. And uh, his pens and his hand turned nibs are also hugely good. I mean, if you are a serious collector, I will suggest that uh, you check out these pens. Next in line would be IJKL, Lapis Bird. Lapis Bird, incidentally, is a brand that's owned by Mr. Nikhil Ranjan. Mr. Nikhil Ranjan is the person behind the William Penn uh, range of showrooms. You know what William Penn is all about, but we are going to talk about Lapis Bird. Now, uh, not many people know, but Lapis Bird is basically a British brand. It was a British brand which was bought out by Dr. Um, which was bought out by uh, Mr. Nikhil Ranjan and William Pence. The inks are made abroad in Europe and the uh, inks and they also make some fantastic pens. These inks and pens are uh, of course aimed at the higher end uh, of the connoisseurs. So after Lapis Bird would be Lotus. Now, Lotus is a name that does not need any kind of introduction. It's backed by Mr. Arun Singhi. Now, Arun Singhi is a Mumbai-based manufacturer of bespoke handcrafted fountain pens. He is known for his quality craftsmanship. He's been in this business for, you know, many years now through ups and downs, uh, you know, uh, and uh, he also has a very uh, solid kind of a follower base and uh, Lotus pens are, I mean, of course, I will not get into it. We've done stories about Lotus in the past. We will also do stories about Lotus in the future and uh, th these pens are good. After Lotus comes Magna Carta. Now, Magna Carta is a uh, uh, you know, is a, a brand that's backed by a man called Hiren Kanakara. They are basically uh, from Jamnagar, though Hirenji, I believe, is based in out of Bombay. They, their factory is in Gujarat. They are into machined fountain pens with trademark looks. Uh, Hiren Kanakara is also known for the fact that he is aggressively pushing his products abroad uh, which makes a lot of sense because Magna Carta pens are you know on the bigger side they are uh, slightly heavy and uh, more girthy for Indian holds and these are also priced accordingly for the they are I mean from what we understand is they're looking at the export market, they're looking at overseas market and they are trying to cater to them. So they have uh, their own ways of going about. Next is Mohi. Now Mohi is a very interesting brand that is not very well known. But uh, the man behind Mohi is Anand Pathak. They're based out of Aurangabad in Maharashtra. Now Mohi pens exhibit excellent craftsmanship and are available at a very reasonable price. They are quality products at very reasonable price points. So uh, if you are a fountain pen lover, I'm sure you will check out Mohi pens. Uh, Mohi pens are good. The next brand that I'm going to talk about is one that is called Origin One. Now, uh, not many people in the fountain pen fraternity know Origin One as yet, but check this brand out, follow this brand, because this is 
uh, a brand uh, with a man called Pushkar Thakur uh, behind it. Now, Pushkar Thakur is a hugely, hugely talented, gifted, qualified uh, artist. They are based out of Delhi and they come, uh, they have a line of stationary products that is aimed at what they call the global nomad and uh, the products are far out. I mean, the designs, the product, the kind of, you know, the, the kind of uh, interest that it takes in the products, the kind of, uh, you know, detailing that goes into the making of the products is just too good. I mean, I am a fan and though they are not that well known, I am sure uh, this brand is here to stay. We come to now Ratnam. Actually, there are two Ratnams, you know. Kevi Ratnam and Sons being the celebrated one. Uh, they are the Ebonite kings from Rajamundri. You know all these stories about Gandhiji uh, writing them letters saying that your pens are as good as any ones that is available in the bazaar and things like that. They have been into the thing, uh, into pen making since the late. 1930s and uh, they are good. I mean, uh, some Ratnam pens have cult statuses. So, I mean, there's not much that I can say about Ratnam. Next comes CFP. Now, the man behind is none other than Yusuf Mansurji, our own Yusuf Mansur, who is based out of Patna. And this is basically a line of leather uh, fountain pen accessories. They are carry cases and other accessories that uh, Yusuji designs himself and uh, he gets them made from a variety of places. And uh, they are very, I mean, uh, very good as accompanying uh, uh, things to go with your pens. The, uh, cases to carry your pens in or to keep your pens safe and uh, these are all leather though like uh, last time I talked to Yusuf Ji he was talking about introducing some other uh, products also in other materials or the same products in other materials. The, we now come to I am getting winded my god uh, there are more <laughs> brands that we should talk about than I thought, I mean, this is going on and on. Okay. The next one that we are going to talk about, of course, is Suleka. Suleka is, a, you know, 88, 89 years old brand now, which started by making inks for Gandhiji. The man behind Suleka is Kausik Maitro. This is a legacy brand and now uh, it's making a comeback. So, and they're all over the social media space. So, I mean, there's nothing new that I can add to it. They are pretty visible and uh, the inks are good. I, for one, uh, always use Suleka inks and uh, even this pen is inked with it. Uh, so, I mean, I'm a user and uh, I'm a very happy user. Next is Urusi India. The man behind Urusi India is Vivek Kulkarni. Uh, Vivek Kulkarni, incidentally, is the only Urushi master in uh, India. I mean, there are other people making Urushi pens also, but he is the one who started it, you know, in India. And uh, he has the prime over advantage. And some of the pens that he is making are just, you know, mind blowing. Uh, some of my Japanese friends have uh, seen his creations and like they were stunned. I mean, India is making pens like that. Okay, yes, we are. Uh, finally, we come to the end of the list. We have Wality Airmel, which is the people behind are the Mirchandanis of Mumbai. They're in the market since the 1950s. They make very sturdy pens that are low on frills, but very high on quality. 
and are very moderately priced. I mean, there are there is a niche in the market that buys quality pens and takes off their names and puts them into, uh, I mean, puts can write names and this that and they do all sorts of permutations and combinations. I am not one of them. I like quality pens or air mill pens the way they are and uh, I use them. I've been using them for a long time. And okay, I do have air mill pens, certain air mill pens with can write names. I do have, I mean, and they're also very good, but uh, that's air mill and quality. I'm sorry if I've left out anyone. I'm sorry if I have, you know, <clears throat> because as you must have noticed, we do these videos without editing and uh, you don't have multiple cuts or things like that. I just have a, uh, you know, camera in front of me and I'm, uh, you're talking endlessly, whatever has come into my mind. Yes, I did think about it uh, before so that I had a kind of a flow how I was going to do this story. So, and here it is. So, uh, if there's anything, if you like the story, please like and share and, you know, post your comments. If there's anything that I've missed out, please let us know in the comments section. If you would want any of these brands to be talked about at length, you want me to do any of these stories. Now, the point is I have all these pens. I have all these pens. I have all these inks. I have all these cases. So I can show them to you. I can uh, feature them. I can showcase them. I can do any story that you want. But uh, thing is, please, please, please write. I mean... Please write, please let me know your feedback, let me know how I can improve myself, let me know how we can take this further because uh, this is, we've already come to a certain stage in our uh, YouTube evolution process and as you know that we are growing, we are growing, we are getting more likes, we are getting more followers and things like that. But, uh, and I'm liking it. I'm liking it and I hope that you like it too so that, you know, we can uh, keep doing these stories. But for that, I need to interact with you. I need your commands. I need you guys to tell me how I can better myself because at the end of the day, <clears throat> I don't know everything. I'm not God. I, I, I mean, I don't have all the answers. But the thing is, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying and I'm open for, uh, I'm open to suggestions. So p please tell me how to go about it or how to do a better job. And that's about it. Hope uh, you like this. Please like, share, comment and blah, 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 blah. Because without, you know, you supporting us, we cannot make the coveted marks. So we need your help. And thank you. Till we meet again uh, with another episode, happy watching, happy watching the Inked Happiness. Thank you. Bye.